thought we would just do a quick intro before we move out of our tiny home and into our bigger home that we're working on just to show you how we were living um, we came here in january uh, mid-january which is kind of a bad idea there's about a foot and a half of snow on the ground um, but we just we pulled our rig up set up our awning tent and started getting after it um, we built this shed right in the middle of winter where are we right there um, so it was rough but it's nice to be as set up as we are now just starting in spring and it'll be really nice once we get to move into this guy we've still got work, lots of work to do but we're getting there so let me give you a quick tour of the van and show you what we got going on so here she is it's a 2003 ford e250 extended uh, we built the high top ourselves custom we couldn't find a good deal on a pre-made one so we just started building our own it's just two by four construction skinned with half inch plywood and then we fiberglassed around the whole thing and that thing is held up like a beast we've had it in tons of forest roads and stuff and it's never cracked or anything uh, moving on we got our awning room now this thing is not meant for what we've used it for um, we've had it out in the winter for two to three months um, we had snow fall onto it from our high top and you can see that did a number on these poles here um, I've had to literally bailing wire it together in some spots when the wind kicks up it can get up to 60 miles per hour out here so yeah this thing's taken a pretty good beating um, but you know it's done its job for us and it's almost ready to to be done <laughs> um, these are the back boxes here um, custom box boxes my pops is a welder so he actually made those for us marquee built custom to what we want we were, when we were traveling around the states we had our kayak in here we got our grill in here um, they're completely weatherproof hoses it's almost like a garage we had them stuffed when we were traveling but now they're pretty empty everything's in the storage but it's nice to have they got the top rack so you can put your firewood here you know kindling whatever um what else we got motion lights all around that's been key for when you hear a bump in the night uh we got two windows on this side that's our dog ignore him um we got all-terrain tires which is pretty much all we've needed we have not gotten stuck on any of the forest roads we went on i think with the weight combined with the grip of those tires it's just kind of gripped us along so haven't gotten stuck yet we got a light bar um, we got another motion light here and then we got an outdoor marine outlet and that powers the light on the awning here so that's about it for the outside um, besides that we got two fans on the top one for the bathroom one for the house and then that's a little window for our shower so after that all that's left is there's three 100 watt solar panels up there on the roof and those top us up to 100 percent every day so we're happy now let me take you guys inside so coming inside here it's just more storage we store all our drinking water in here extra this is pretty much our pantry right now so we got extra food um our laundry of course we got a microwave that we rarely ever use. Uh, Joyce's stand-up mixer that we'll be using in the RV. Charcoal. Um, paper towels, stuff like that. It's just extra storage. And then we keep our jackets out here as well. All our boots are extra diesel for our diesel heater. This is our little shoe rack here. Um, we got a little more storage over here just for bug spray, flashlights, what have you. This is the control for the light in here. Um, and that's about it. Pretty minimal in here. This side of the awning actually broke with the wind. 
So right now we just got it temporarily shut with clamps. So we're ready to move into bigger, better things with the RV over there. But yeah, I'll take you guys inside. Hey guys, so now we're in the van. I'm gonna give you a quick van tour. We're gonna start in the back. Um, these are our reflectics. They go on all our windows to help keep the um, heat out. Sometimes keep the heat in when it's freezing cold. Um, I usually store them back here between the bathroom wall and the van wall. Our bug screen right now is in the way. Our tiny trash, we cut a hole in the door of the van to make a medicine cabinet. Um, and we just store all our medicine in there. Okay guys, here is our fridge. It's a Nova Cool fridge. I don't remember the exact model it is. I wanna say it's like 5.2 or 5.3 cubic feet. It's really big and it's a little messy. I need to grocery shop and clean it, but there it is. This is our oh, freezer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty packed right now. We have Ooh. a lot of stuff in there. We live out of this, guys. We do. <laughs> okay. And I don't know if Mitch caught it, but it has a little clip here. Mm -hmm. So when you're driving... That's what holds the door in place. Otherwise, it just opens. We have a tiny bathroom. Um, we have a Theta Ford toilet. It is not compost. It's just a regular RV toilet where you take the bottom out and go dump it. We have a shower heater in here, a window for when we're showering, and a fan. And then we also have our garage. It's like our outdoor hose like a garden hose. And we also have a Nautilus self-cleaning door. Uh, you forgot to show them our towel storage. Oh, okay. Uh, this is our laundry towel storage. It opens up, it's a cubby. It goes in deep up here and that's our uh, clothesline. It also goes in deep on the other side and there's towels and laundry things in here. Do the closets again. This is Mitch's closet. We have a little mirror in here and he has a couple shelves in there. We also have a little light for our closets. They're really cute. They turn on, they're motion activated, so they'll turn on when you have motion. I like to keep them off because we usually go in the closet during the day. This is my closet. Above my closet is a shelf. We use this shelf to keep our fresh water in the van. It's easier than going in and out to fill our water bottles. There's my closet. Same thing, it has a light. This is an extra closet for extra stuff. Right now we're just using it for towels. It's just easier. Our diesel um, is in here. And this is how we fill our diesel heater. I think it's two gallons. Here's our kitchen. Um, we have an AC outlet here that we don't really use. We don't use a lot of AC things. Um, we have one cabinet. We have another cabinet. Holds all our snacks, our chocolate. <laughs> and our last cabinet usually holds pasta and stuff. Uh, like I said, we need to go grocery shopping, so everything's a little empty. Um, we have a some dirty dishes that I haven't done. Uh, we have a cooktop. It's a two burner, and it has an oven. It works really well. We make lots of stuff in there, cookies, bread. It's actually a pretty big oven. Uh, we have our spice rack and oil rack we never open this window so we don't worry too much about the spice rack um it just it doesn't let a lot of air in to be honest we have our sink and this pops off the sink there's the sink it's a pretty big sink um, and we just wanted to put this in there to have more room to cook our humidifier uh, we have some fruit storage. These are um, 
little things you put over your fruit to keep it fresh and nice. Fire hydrant, safety, our key holder. And this is really cool. So we have um, little LED light strips that go around the van. And this is the on off switch. You can switch the colors. Also this little white thing listens to music and it'll go along with your music. That's why this is out and exposed so it can listen to whatever you're playing. Um, we also have lights down here in the cooktop area for when you're cooking. Uh, moving on, we have the remote control to the LED strip that I didn't show you. It usually goes right here. Um, this is our propane on off switch. We have lights that turn on and off. You can dim them for when you're watching a movie or something. Shoe storage, uh, more shoe storage. And we do have a blackboard. We don't usually use it too much, but sometimes we like to put reminders up there. Moving on, we have our couch slash bed. And um, what happens is you just pull this out. This foam comes out, this foam slides in and becomes a full size bed. It's almost a queen. And we have the upper storage. So you just pull these. And we have Bob's, <laughs> Bob has a lot of the van. Bob's shelf, which has all his treats and stuff. Some clerical stuff, my crock pot, some extra groceries, and some laptops and stuff. On the other side of this, we store our bed. There's our bed. It's our um, comforter and just a sheet I like to put over the couch so we don't get the couch dirty all the time. Okay, we have that. We have a curtain. Uh, usually we close this if we want privacy and we don't want to put up our Reflectix. It's just easier, keeps the heat in too when we run the heater. It's um, double-sided, it's really nice. And then moving on, we have the control to our diesel heater. You press it on and then to turn it off, you just hold it off and you control the temperature with these two. Um, this is our Pico and um, it's really nice. So it tells us the status of our batteries, how long we have. You use these little controls on the bottom to move up and down. You see how much amp you're using, how many amps you're using. And we even have it hooked up to lights, the max fan, the fridge, see what everything's drawing. It tells you the voltage and the amps there. And then we also have solar. We like to know what the current is, what's coming in and everything. We have our water tank hooked up to it and we have temperature gauges for the batteries, the inside of the van, and the outside of the van. And then this tells you the pressure outside. There you go. Moving this way, we have just some hat storage. We hang all our hats in our big window. Um, this window, we don't open all the time. Uh, but it's here. It can be open. We usually like to keep this window by the bed and couch. Open it. Let's in a nice breeze. And this right here is our little, I guess, headrest for our bed where we put little things like our phone, our phone chargers, some lotion, chapstick. This control here is for our max fan. You just press the button and it turns on. Um, let me turn it off because it's kind of loud and I want you guys to be able to hear me. We have that. We also have next to that control our inverter switch. So you go on and now the AC power in the van will work. Here's one outlet. We do have another one for our, um, our UV water. Um, what are they called? UV water sanitizer. Sanitizer. 
So we do have AC power down here, and I actually didn't show you guys these yet. I moved past that. Um, we have AC power down here, and we also have a um, filtration system for the water. This is also where we store all our cleaning stuff for the van. We have lots of stuff. <laughs> it's also our little secret alcohol drawer. Yes, we keep our whiskey down there. <laughs> okay, close that. Um, on the side of the oven is where we keep our cutting boards and our dish towels. In this drawer, we have just basic, like stuff just stuff you cook with Work spoons. stuff like that cutlery i guess and this one we have dishes and cups measuring things koozies yes we drink beer <laughs> so open these two bottom drawers because they're so heavy you come in here and there's a pin and you just pull it and out comes the drawer uh-oh Malfunction. Okay. <laughs> we have our strainer and all our pots and pans and somewhere to put our pots and pans when they're really hot. The most bottom drawer has um, containers for leftovers and we're actually using some of them now. Our AeroPress to make coffee, our little tea kettle, and a blender. 12 volt blender, margaritas. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to say that's it. The only other thing is under our bed. We do have storage right under our bed. And usually we put like Mitch's tools or some speakers big things that we don't want taking up all the room. This back here in the storage is all our electrical system. So our batteries, our inverter, our solar MPPT controller, everything's in there. And if you guys are interested in that, I could show you in, a ne in another video. Um, other than that, the only thing is the front. It's set up for our dog, Bob, right now. He has his ramp in between both our chairs. They're both swivel chairs. Um, he has his toys set up and some sweaters, some clothes, his pad. And in the very front of the dash, we're using that as a garden area right now. And we're trying to grow some um, plants. Kind of interesting. Bobby. <laughs> this is Bobby. That's Bob. Bobby the wiener dog. Bob the wiener dog, yeah. The traveling ween. Yeah, he's a good boy. He loves the van. He does. It's, it's his, his first home. home. Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. If I missed anything, let me know. So that's it for our van tour. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I saw we have some new subscribers, so I just want to reintroduce ourselves. My name's Mitch. This is my wife, Joyce. Hi, guys. And we're out here just basically trying to build a life, you know, from scratch, off grid. So mm -hmm. if you're interested in that, follow along. Let us know what you guys like to see. And, yeah, we we'll love to see your views. Yeah, I right. love it.